they must go now, Mrs. Ellis. No. No. Let's not make a problem. We've been here long enough. There really isn't any problem. I'm simply not going with you. But you must go with me. Oh, no, I must If there is one thing I must not do, it is go with you. You're being very stubborn, Mrs. Ellis. If you'll just come quietly... Don't come in. That's better. Very much better. Now, will you please go and leave me alone? Mrs. Ellis, there's no need for a scene. Indeed, no need. Unless, of course, you come near me. Mrs. Ellis... If you come nearer even one step, I shall stab you. Very welcome, dear. Will we do it again next Monday? Every Monday. Now hurry to your bath. A nice short bath? A nice short one. Close the door, Susan. Oh, Grace is so forgetful. Remember to use a cloth. Well, I was just hitting my high spot and making dust. That's all a feather duster is good for. Well, I mean to give it a good going over later, as soon as we get Miss Susan off to school. Well, we have plenty to do later. We have some laundry, have a bit of mending, and we've the week's ordering to tend to. From the looks of the refrigerator, we won't need any food for a week. This afternoon, I think I'll do the china closet. But you did it Friday last. Why, Mrs. We got barely enough to do to fill the hours. Grace, your muffins were especially good this morning. Susan loved them. Bless her, she's easy, please. She loves everything. It used to be such a pleasure to look out this window. Oh, I washed them inside and out just last day. Oh, no, no, it's not that. It's the neighborhood. It's not what it used to be. It is a bit run down, all right. Run down? There'll be rooming houses next. This is the last house around being maintained with pride and care and dignity. And no matter what, I shall keep it that way for Susan. Yes, Mrs., I'm sure you will. Oh, I'd best shake a leg and press Miss Susan's uniform. Pity to lose Miss Susan again for another week. She's just off to school. We don't lose her. I watch you these Monday mornings when you're getting her ready. It goes harder with you every time. She loves her school. She's all you got. They're off and grown soon enough. I think I'll send some apple butter. Susan says all the girls enjoy it. That was caused to send her away when Mr. Ellis was so sick. 
now that he's been took. I wish Susan could be home with me every afternoon after school and evenings, have dinner with her every night. But I don't want to be selfish. That's not one of your faults, Mrs. Thank you. Perhaps I'll, I'll bring it up on my way to the corner. Oh, it's a shame you married so late in life and just had the one before the mister was took. Oh, it didn't seem so late in life, Chris. Friday night. They'll be hot and waiting on you, Miss Susan. Bless you now. You know what? What? When I grow up, I want to look just like you. Oh, that's a, a very, very nice thing to say. In your time, Mrs. Thank you. Grace, I shall take a walk through the park before I return. Friday night. I'll be looking forward to that. Look in. I'll be looking forward to that. And Sandy, you can show me about the hair ribbon. What will we do on Sunday? Well, what would you say to a day at the beach? With a picnic lunch? Oh, well, of course, a picnic lunch. I'll plan all week on what we'll take. Susan, dear, there's such a nice new school just a few blocks. Oh, Mother, there's Becky and Linda. I'm going to catch up with them. Susan. Have a nice week. Good morning. Take your milk regularly now. Goodbye, my darling. Goodbye. Goodbye, Susan. Goodbye, darling. Bye. That was a little close for comfort. I beg your pardon? It's all right. J just a bad fright. I'll feel better when I get home. She's my... Well, if Grace is not handy, would you be good enough to open the front door for me? All right. Grace should tell me when she's called workman to the house. Just what was it you wanted, lady? Never mind what I wanted. And the next time you answer someone's door, please have the decency to put your shirt on. 